Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits review. So tonight, been a long day, but an interesting one. I'm going to be reviewing Stella Artar Cedra in my, hopefully clean, Cedra glass. Got these from Sainsbury's when I was there, they went down to a penny. Got bought loads. Gave loads away because of that price. So, applied for a, um, a new job yesterday. Was it yesterday? What day was it yesterday? Today's Thursday. Or was it Tuesday? Um, yesterday or Tuesday or Wednesday anyway. No, it was Wednesday. Yeah, I applied for it on Wednesday, this job. And I got an email back uh, pretty much after an hour or two saying, um, can we do a phone interview? Well, um, I don't mind. That's a bit different. So, move over. Oh, I just had my phone interview. Uh, apparently I've been mm. shortlisted, so that's good. I mean, my experience everything about me ticks all the boxes and uh, just been told about the job going around to different gardens x amount of time on each garden do what you can to make it look good um mow grass cut edges anything like that um and uh, yeah and uh, the bloke seems really decent because it does it's in any job, it's who you work for and who you work with. And that's where, in my present role, there's issues. Um, but yeah, sounds interesting. So, let's hope to the future. But anyway, so, Stella Cedra. I can remember when they bought this out years ago. Obviously, Stella trying to tap into that cider market. Um, says on the back, a crisp and refreshing cider. Made with and picked apples, 58%. Four and a half percent um, strength, and it's www.tapintoyourbeer.com. I don't know what that's about. So, as you can see, um, it's like a gold amber pour, uh, lots of carbonation and lacing, as you'd expect, but also this glass has got the widget on the bottom so it makes more carbon you know it makes it look better apples on the nose but then you, you probably need that anyway so yeah um this could be a very very interesting um um time or I could get blown out by somebody better. <laughs> you never know. Sometimes it's all about your face if your face fits. But um, the company itself, they, their main gardeners, they haven't had a person leave in over five years. One person's leaving at the moment and he's going to a different trade altogether. That happens. But I mean, I've been, the last two jobs I've been in, um, the staff turnover was through the roof. Uh, this job, big turnover. Last job, massive turnover of staff. And it always says something about the job uh, when there's a big turnover. On my days at Nottingham City Council, um, good staff never left because the job was fantastic. Uh, the gardening was fantastic. And then as privatisation came in, the competitive tendering and that. And I look now at the City Council, I do not recognise one single gardener who used to be there. All It's all um, trainee gardeners and I tell you now, the standard of work is horrendous. And uh, so... I'm ready for a beer, it's waiting for the phone call. I'm, I'm getting stressed to iron, and I do suffer with anxiety, but I'm getting stressed to iron, I'm waiting. And uh, now it's over, I can chill out and uh, wait for the next uh, 
interview. I presume that'll be a face to face. See if I've sold myself enough. It's very hard to sell yourself on a phone, to be honest. Um, but I suppose you, you know, as a, if you're in, interviewing somebody, you're getting a feel for them. And that, I mean, um, he did ask if I if I know anything about computers. Do I? <laughs> I help me on websites, so I, I know quite a bit about computers. Not about not the coding side of it, although I have built websites, uh, plain ones. But um, yeah, I know a lot about websites and that. So, interesting nonetheless. Where does the future go? Well, you know when you made your mind up that you're not happy in, in any, any job, to go out to see a job that ticks the boxes in a good way. Um, and even the times, now the, the working times, the, they're not as good as what I had it, at my uh, two jobs ago. Well, sorry, at my last job. Not they, I was on six to half two most of the time. That was good hours. This job, and at the moment I'm on half seven till four, which again, I suppose. This job, it's start at eight o'clock in the morning, which means I suppose I get a good lighting. But you, it means you have to leave your house at 20 past seven anyway to get to work because uh, traffic. Um, but it's eight to five. But if you work for your dinner, eight to four. And it says most people work for the dinner. So, yeah, that's not bad, I suppose. Anyway, back to this. Stella Artois. Obviously well known for their lager. Or beer. Lager beer. And, uh, yeah, when this came on, it, and it, when it first came out years ago, it had sold. It was pretty damn popular. And I'm sure there was uh, different uh, versions as well, like a peach version. Or, um... I mean, have a nose there. Stella Cedra. Stella Artar Cedra, yeah. So this would be Cedra Apple. Yes, and it's a Belgian recipe as well, for Lim. Uh, except cookies. Oh, God, when was you born? A long while ago. That's it, okay, yep. Tap into your beer dot com. Turn it off. Stupid side. <clears throat> so wife's out tonight. She's meeting up with her, a friend and they're having a good yak yakka. Yak in the garden. Social distancing, of course. And talking about that, now you can meet up to six people in your garden. As I don't know if it's still social distancing. I'm not sure about that. I didn't read that, but I presume it probably is. But so, you know, I mean, for Monday. Now, how many on Sunday are going to have a barbecue and have six round? You know it's going to happen. And to be honest, from what I've seen around, around where I live, it already does happen, you know. And uh, people do what they like. Uh, I think as long as you're sensible, it's okay. What the non-sensible bit is, is like when we've got idiots up the road, two in the morning, parties, with all the local idiots at that house. I mean, it's like, yeah, 200 yards up the road. Well, no, 150 yards that way. And uh, and then start smashing bottles, fighting. And the police were called. We didn't call them, but the police were called. And uh, I think they got a couple of them, so... And hopefully she's getting a warning now from the council. So, no need for it. Um, people who drink and can't handle their drink shouldn't drink. You know, it's, it's, it's a fact that if you have a drink and you start fighting, beating your wife up or, or the other way around, or your, your husband, you know, if you can't handle your drink, you should not drink, in my opinion. You know, um, usually when I get drunk, uh, I'll have a laugh. I'll fall asleep. Fall asleep mostly. And uh, I, you know, as a child, I was witness to domestic abuse. Um, stepped in front of me dad at age eight, 
he'd already stabbed my mum once and he was just about to do it again. Those officers having a blazing row. I stopped in front of him and went, no, as an eight year old. And uh, then she left him and she had various partners. And uh, and every one of them was a, white, was a beater. So I don't know what my mum was doing, whether she just chose bad or she wound them up. Because obviously, I don't know if, if people do get a fetish out of it. Message! 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 <sighs> that was a good message. But yeah, and uh, yeah, so every, every she met up with four different blokes, and every one of them was that sort of person. And she, she eventually got married to this Irish bloke, and uh, he forced us to drink cabbage water, and he was an evil little bastard. And uh, they, they ever invent a time machine, I'm going back to that day as my older self, and I'm, I get him outside and I kick the shite out of him. Um, but it, it, it hit a woman, it beat me mum senseless, senseless. And then one day he went after my dog, and there's one thing in this world, as a, as a, I think I was about 15 at the time, yeah, 15, no one attacks my dog. So I got the sledgehammer, and I'm not a nasty person in no way, sense or form. But I got the sledgehammer, I says, come on you bastard! And he wasn't fucking brave enough then, was he? It's a woman. And someone's out, ready to have a go about, and I, and I, I would, I would have pounded him, you know. I, I, had it, I um, he was going to get it, and uh, yeah, he soon backed off and walked away. I yeah, wants a brave. And then uh, I left the house at sixteen. Got well, basically got kicked out, even though I didn't do nothing wrong. But um, and then a year later, I'd already uh, died of alcohol poisoning, and. Uh, I don't normally laugh when someone dies, but that filled me with such joy. Burst out laughing at my grandma's. Such a great day. Such a horrible person. There are some genuinely horrible people in this world, and that bloke was one of them. <sighs> no wonder I suffer with anxiety issues. <sighs> I'm ready for a session on this. And the funny thing about this job, if I get it, uh, they're in units, and I know where they are, uh, they're next to West Bridgeford. They're in units, and two doors away from that unit is a Nottinghamshire, Nottingham brewery called Totally Brewed, uh, who make it an imperial cereal stout. I had one of their beers the other week, that was the one I had, I paid £7.50 for the privilege. Um, I don't do that very often. But I fancy that, you know, I thought I'm having that. I've got that, I don't care what the price is. And uh, yes, they're two doors away. So you know what's going to happen. There's going to be some, uh, what you got on then? Eh? You know I'm going to be getting some uh, reviews. And especially when I tell them, I'll say that I'll do beer reviews. So is there any chance of free beer? Free pint for me to take over and review it for you. Eh? It's definitely got to happen. Got to happen. Just see where fate takes us now. And uh, hopefully with some positivity. Or if not, then keep looking. You know, something will eventually come up. Something that will be perfect. Getting a job at Totally Brewery would be good, wouldn't it? No. Yeah, working in a brewery, I'd love it. Love to work in a brewery. From washing out barrels to uh, even help with the brewing. You know, fantastic job. So, I have really spoke about the uh, aside, I do apologise, uh, 14 minutes in and all I've talked about is myself. Um, God, apple taste, really nice, uh, pleasant tasting apple cider. Um, got apple on the nose, great flavour, I've got to say, one of the best uh, ciders that I've had. Um, traditional cider, that is. Yeah, really liked it, really... Uh, good blending and uh, I can't fault it whatsoever so crisp and refreshing but as I, as I always say lagers and ciders should be crisp and refreshing that's what they're there for 
But yeah, um, absolute little cracker. Oh, cheered me up no end. As well as as well as the interview earlier, obviously. Oh, lovely taste of apple in your mouth, and because it's a nice tasting cider, fills your mouth. I mean, if I put this against something like Strongbow, uh, Strongbow's an apple cider, this would wipe the floor with it. No wonder when it first came into Sainsbury's, it sold so well. We had it too deep, and we, um, so that's basically two on a, on a on a shelving unit, just two two rows. But because it was selling out so much, we have to widen it so that's six deep just to keep up because it was horrendously growing, growing out so fast. And then we obviously bought out cans, bottles, uh, cans and crates rather. And I could have sworn I won two two, cake, two crates of this the other year. What was that, Carling? Fair uh, cider. I'd be Carling actually. Yeah. So, that was gorgeous. So, as you'd expect, totally uh, refreshing and crisp. Um, great amber pour, good carbonation and lacing. Uh, nice apple on the nose. Great apple taste. Fills your mouth with a beautiful taste of apple. Really nice. Probably, probably the best standard apple cider. That I've ever had. I'll think back in a minute. Out of five then. 4.65 out of five. That was a perler. Absolutely. And that's all from this beer review. Thanks for watching. Um, thanks for listening. <laughs> uh, sometimes it's nice to get something off your chest. And... Uh, as always, thank you everyone for subscribing and uh, stay safe. And cheers. Good night.